after a defeat at Crew this evening, what are your thoughts on our display? Yeah, it, I thought first half it was um, pretty poor stuff. You know, we didn't impose ourselves on the game. Um, yeah, it, 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 we were a little bit under strength, understandably. You know, we're trying to rest a few few bodies, but we, we didn't really take the game to them in the manner that we wanted to. Um, second half, it was better. Um, you know, we've got to learn from the first half when we're not at our best. Don't give away a scruffy goal. Uh, and we did. Uh, I can't think of many shots that they did have throughout the game. Um, but we, we allowed them that opportunity. And um, in second half, they didn't really get a sniff. You know, you know, they had a couple of breakaways when we gave the ball away in four positions. But at least we tried to pass the ball and we upped the tempo and, and we got some dangerous looking balls in towards the end. And we should have scored uh, on the. Uh, on the back of uh, yeah, at least a couple of those balls into the box. Are you able to put your finger on what contributed to that first half display really? I, I mean, you mentioned being slightly under strength and seven mm. changes, perhaps a, a lack of sharpness in the team. Um, I know that uh, a few needed minutes, uh, you know, the likes of Levi is just come back from a bug. You could clearly see, you know, he wasn't his normal self. Um, perhaps that caught up with him. Um, you know, we're, we're introducing a youngster on the on the right wing, and he put in a good energetic performance. Uh, but it's a, a new dynamic for him and the team, and um, a good experience for him. Um, so the changes sometimes, you know, especially when you're away from home, you know, at Crew, albeit they, they named a very young team. Um, he's going. There's going to be a few differences to the performance, um, but. We came in at half time, and sometimes you put it down to a bit of confidence in a few that are coming into the team and a lack of it. And uh, we said at half time, just let's not regret, you know, anything at the end of the game in terms of trying to make ourselves proud by looking like footballers, wanting to pass the ball. You know, we um, we had a, a purple patch last season when we really commanded the ball um, at a really good level in League Two and went on a really good run. And um, you know, we we need to get try to get back to that level of performance, and it's only going to be take bravery and courage on the ball to do so. You mentioned Ollie Robinson coming into the side. Really good moment for him. Just how much will this experience benefit him and Jack Ray as well? Coming on? Yeah, I thought, and I thought Jack came on and um, put himself about, and and it is. Physically, he's really uh, becoming a man now, and so uh, really, uh, I'm proud of both of them. Uh, and Robbie as well in training, uh, you know, putting a commanding performance in training yesterday, where everyone was thrilled. So, and oh, he's been superb. You know, he's been such a bright spark in training. Fully deserved uh, an opportunity for a run out tonight. Ran himself into the ground, and and uh, you know, we, he just needed a bit more supply, didn't he? So, um, the future's. The future's good when you've got young youngsters who are jumping a bit to play for the club. And two of those in Ollie and Robbie came for our player development centre as well. Ollie, the first player tonight, I think, to have gone through that path and played for the first team. That must be a real credit to those behind the scenes putting the work in within our PDC. Well, it's working, isn't it? And that's that's the evidence for it. And I'm sure there's going to be more players that I know that at younger levels too. That um, there's really strong strong groups. Um, that, that are going to push, you know, in years to come to show the right attitude, then they've got uh, they've got the talent, you know, and we're sure that they can push on into the first team. And that's what we want from our our pathway from the youth teams, yeah. And tonight's result still leaves us with a, a chance of progressing. Other, fixed, other results have to go our way. I think we need Blackpool not to beat Liverpool under 21s, but is the hope now that that can happen and then we get a, a tie at the exercise against Blackpool where we can a bit of a knockout game and a real good atmosphere? Yeah, well, that's what we want. I said, you know, we want to go as far as we can in this competition. Um, you know, it, it's it's a difficult balance to ha have sometimes because the likes of Ellis and, and Dawes and, and Ant at, at, at the back, you know, we we gave them a bit of a reward you know for recent performances and and gave them a breather tonight which is which is needed you know um one was nursing a bit of a a, a slight tightness in a hamstring uh, the other day and uh, and there was a bit of a risk you know playing him but he got through it but certainly they needed a bit of a breather tonight um as much as we wanted to win it we haven't got a big squad um but it was a worthwhile exercise you know blooding some youngsters and also uh topping up minutes for those who needed it and just finally a couple of uh, absentees tonight Matty Folds not in the squad and, and Sam Falar in a late change to the starting lineup with James Daly coming in what can you tell us about those yeah it's a shame on both accounts uh, Matty looked at his ankle yesterday it ballooned over the weekend and um, 
hopefully I'd be okay for this weekend but it, it was too sore and too big a risk to strap him up and send him out again um, and Sam yeah was due to start but uh, unfortunately I had stomach cramps and, and just didn't feel up to it um, when we got to the hotel for pretty much meal unfortunately thank you thank you cheers